Hello and thanks for coming to the channel. Today we have the uh, Ford Bronco 2021. And this is just uh, looking at it from a motor trend perspective. The Ford Bronco, you're talking about a 270 horsepower and 310 torque. And a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Folks, this is just awesome. And the pros of the 2021 Ford Bronco is it, it's a fresh new design that's still instantly recognizable as an icon. Now, trim to suit. Almost every person and every buyer is going to be love the trim levels. Excellent suspens suspension and off-road abilities. And you know what? The body panels come off very easily. These are the pros of the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now let's look at the cons. Now the cons is that the side mirrors stay on even when the doors are off. I don't know how that's a con. That is a good thing because then you can drive it and still be able to look. And you still have the use of the, of the, uh, the cameras as well. And the blind spot detection. So it's a great thing that the mirrors do come off. But some people will look at that as a con. Now the rear and side visibility could be better. That's a positive con. Uh, Jeep has a more aftermarket support. True that. Uh, too raw and it's too wide for the Wrangler trails. So it's not going to be able to go places where a Wrangler would go because the trails, you know, it's too wide. Now, after more than 20 years, the Broncos are back. Built on a platform that will also underpin the next Ranger mid-sized truck. The 2021 Ford Bronco picks up where its predecessor left off as an off-road oriented body on frame SUV. Now, Ford is going to offer the 2021 Bronco in two forms, a two-door and a larger four-door version, just like the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, and to better compete with that icon, the Bronco will offer removable doors, windows, roofs, and body side panels. Let's look at some pics. Now, this is what we see before us is the accessories. Now, Ford says they're going to offer 200 accessories, and they're going to be ready by time of launch. And they're supposed to be introducing them in December sometime. So very shortly. Let's check out some picks and talk about these picks. It's a different angles. It's, it, to me, it just looks... I like the brawny look. I like the strong look. I think this is awesome. Yeah, it's wide, but it's also roomy. I mean, look at the, this, the, the distance between the, the driver and the passenger. I mean, you're not rubbing shoulders. This is definitely... I like the way it looks. Definitely the profile and everything about this is just new. Now the new the new generation of Ford Iconic Off-Road SUVs is the Badland Base uh, first edition model uh, limited to 3500 and actually went up to 7000 because the 3500 sold out within hours or within a day or so. I think it was ours. Now, each variant gets a unique grille as a distinguishing design uh, detail. And check that out. That's just awesome. And it also has uh, the GOAT worthy performance. And what that means is the 2021 uh, Bronco's base engine, which is a 2.3 liter uh, four cylinder, 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. Now, when that's not enough, uh, you can power up to the 2.7 liter uh, twin turbo V6, which is good for 310 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. Now, the transmission choices include a six speed manual on the 2.3 liter plus a super low crawler gear that Ford says will make it a seven speed or a 10 speed automatic on both engines. Oh, and the, the GOAT stands for go over any terrain if you didn't know that already. Now, this is the awesome uh, SEMA uh, show two-door Bronco, and it's awesome, folks. Now, there's seven key features that aim to improve off-road capability, including the all-terrain tires on the Badlands and wide track model, uh, two type of transfer cases as well, front and rear locking differentials, 
Uh, drive modes includes normal, eco, sports, slippery, sand, baja, mud, rock crawl. And the latter setting that is automatically adjusts the mini settings to eliminate the guesswork from off-roading. So it, it automatically adjusts too for you if you need that. Especially in the, um, in the automatic transmission. Um, like a Toyota Land Cruiser, the new Bronco also has the trail turn assist function. That can drag the inside uh, rear tire to tighten the uh, turning radius. Now the Bronco fe features uh, works at higher speeds too. Then there's the option of the uh, one pedal driving. Now if you if you spring for the Bronco powered by the 2.7 liter engine. Uh, one drive mode will automatically hold the brake when you lift off the accelerator. Now... When you lift off the accelerator pedal. Now, cargo space and towing. Um, let's look at that as far as the Wrangler versus the, the Bronco. But that one pedal mode is definitely nice. You know, because you, sometimes you, you don't have the... Um, you're busy. You're just so busy you don't have the time to, to hit the brake. Because when you let off that gas, it has to be able to stop instantly. I mean, sometimes you can't move forward and you can't move... You know, you can't move back. You have to make quick adjustments. And so having that one paddle, one paddle function is just awesome. Now, the two-door Bronco has 23.6 cubic feet of cargo space. With the seats up. Let's check out some cargo space. Hopefully we can get some pics of the cargo space. We'll flick through and we'll come back to all of these later. So just take a look and love this up because this is just awesome, folks. And we'll stop when we get to the cargo space. If we do find the cargo space in some of these pigs. I think we're coming up soon, but I think it's a little bit ways off. We're going to come back to all of these and talk about all these pigs. And let's talk about the cargo space. You're talking about 23.6 cubic feet of cargo space with all the seats folding. Now the rear seats expand with a capacity of 58.4 cubic feet. The Bronco two-door is longer and wider than the two-door Wrangler, which helps explain why it offers so much more than the Jeep, 12.9 cubic feet with the seats up and 31.7 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down. Bronco just killed it. I mean, if you're overlanding or something, you need, you're going to need all that space. You're definitely not going to be able to take a nap and relax uh, in the back on the, in the Wrangler, but you definitely can do that. In a four-door uh, Bronco. Now choose the four-door Bronco for the maximum practicality. There's 35.6 cubic feet with the seats up and 77.6 cubic feet with the second row down folded. Now that compares to the Wrangler Unlimited four-door that has 31.7 uh, cubic feet and 72.4 cubic feet respectively. So it's got to be by about five feet. Now, the maximum towing capacity of the Bronco and Wrangler, when properly equipped, it is 3,500. So, they both have the same towing capacity. Now, this is how much the, uh, the uh, Bronco is going to cost. Now, the base model is going to be a 29995 That's the price for an entry-level two-door Bronco. And that means pricing starts only a tiny bit above the two-door uh, Jeep Wrangler. And um, now let's uh, let's go back and let's just take a look at some of this cargo space. This is just some of the stuff that you can put in the back of the uh, cargo space of the Jeep Wrangler. And this is just a good footage of the side profile. And while we're looking at that, let's get into safety. For a uh, Copilot 360 suite of active safety features, it's standard on the 2021 Bronco, starting with the Big Ben grade. One above the base trim that includes the forward collision warning, pedestrian detection, automatic emergency braking, lane keeping assist, which you don't get in the in the Jeep, but you get all these blind spot monitoring, a rear cross traffic alert, automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control. You get a, um, a lot of the safety steering mechanisms too that you don't get in the Jeep that you do get in the Bronco. Now let's talk about trims and let's just take a look at some more picks too as well. This is the um this is with the um top off. Just look at that. That's nothing but open space. 
And today I saw a Jeep parked in the grocery lot and I was just looking at it and I said to myself, wow, this, what, a, what a special vehicle. I mean, just these off-road vehicles in itself, it's just something different about them. They're so nice. This is a side profile, of course, with the um, with the front top off. You see that? That is just spectacular, folks. Some people don't like this little nudge in the, in the back door. I think it's fine, you know. They have to have it there because it, the window has to slide down here. But a lot of people don't like that. But I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't care less. That's just a, something that had to be done. And again, this is the uh, bottom of the uh, Bronco. And this is the uh, skid plates and everything too as well. Uh, the protection, the underbody protection, which you need. Now, Ford, for trim levels, Ford will offer the 2021 Bronco and seven trims. Now, besides the base in the uh, Big Ben models, the other Bronco variants include the Black Diamond, Outer Banks, Wild Track, Badlands, and a low volume first edition, which is awesome. Actually, sold out. And that baby is like 60 something plus thousand dollars. And you have to have your money right if you want to get those when they already sold out. So. And then you have the Sasquatch package, which is how you can get the uh, massive 35 inch uh, tires on the base Bronco. Now let's talk about the uh, technology. Now you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility, um, our standard on the 2021 Bronco. And you have the 8 inch or the 12 inch monitor system, which is nice. And we'll um, even take a look at that. Look at that. That is spectacular, folks. I think that's the 12 inch. Look how wide that is over here. I like the way how it's reflective of the sky, you know, when you look at it. That was a good shot. Now, touch screens are offered. Uh, 6.5 inch instrument cluster display, which you see here. You know, you can't really see it from this angle, but that's all digital. And all the, um, all the instruments are easy to read, like the older Bronco. They did a really good job. Now, seven cool tech features on the uh, 20, uh, 21 Bronco. I mean, there's, there's so much to know about that, but we won't get all into the deep technology of this uh, Bronco. The 2021 Bronco is gonna be a success. And these are um, some things that it you know may need to be successful. Um, you can just think of, and you can also write in the comments what you feel that the Bronco need, may need to be successful take a look at some more of these pics i mean look at that look at that side profile and look how clean it is when you take the doors off you know the only that's the only thing that's left and that's just this is just spectacular folks and you have the mirror and you have the um the signals signal lights here and then somewhere there is a camera so i'm gonna have, i'm gonna find it and do a video on the cameras too but right now i haven't seen the picture of you know, a good picture of the uh, 360 degree cameras. This is the seating. And as you can see, the headrest is thin and it looks like it has some kind of whiplash protection too. It might move, but it um, might be adjustable. I don't know, not sure. If you know, just, just let us know in the comments. We love that information. Every tidbit information is just cool. Of course, these fold as you can see back here as well when the seats go down. You got the grab handles too. Some of this is optional, like you can get it, you know, but the, the grab handles I believe are standard, but you can make them look the way you want them to look. And it might be optional. That's a good question. I think it might be optional. And that could be wrong. If you think differently, just go ahead and write in the comments. I can also look that up too. And you can look that up too as well. Again, this is a better angle. I mean, look at this back seat. It has, um, you can actually store stuff underneath the seat too as well while you're sitting there and you're going on a long trip. You know, you have some place to put your stuff if you can't, even though you, even though you do put it in the back. But there's, you know, you can't beat this, folks. This is just definitely nice. And again, every place where there's like, this also screws off too as well. So this is like an addition. So... I think you had to order these handles. Otherwise, I wouldn't have these screws. And it might come standard. Who knows? I'm going to look into that. 
different angle of it too. And you have a looks like the speaker system is up here too. You know, those are speakers right up here. At least they appear to be speakers. You have the adjustable seat belts too as well. And again, you have the um, you have the auxiliary switches too, as you see here for the um, whatever auxiliary you have, like if you have the LED lighting or whatever, you have the buttons up here, you have the winch and everything else, you can operate it from this. And again, nice badging, and then the color, the colorations, the steering wheel, everything about this is just spectacular. You have the goat modes here, you have the cup holders that are adjustable, you have the climate controls, you have the lock glove box, And again, this is speedometer. Everything is just really clear. You have the temp gauges, the voltage gauges. Um, you have everything that you possibly need. The gasoline gauges the, right here. And you, I guess the temperature will be in cloudy. That's what we're seeing right here. The speedometer. Everything is quite simple. The traction control, turn signals airbags you have the different gauges right over here too as well abs and again this is the um, temperature controls and you have the fan speed the max auto uh, recirculation um, heated steering wheel heated seats the heated mirrors um, the heated seats for the passenger and you have the three different levels and again, the automatic, you have the plus or minus here. You just click, click, plus, minus, minus. If you want to drop down some gears. Place to put your phones and everything else as well. And you have the goat modes. This is definitely um, nice. And you turn it and it's got that nice texture. So if your hands are wet, you know, the water will go down and you'll still be able to grab it. Because the, the water will have some place to recess and go down and won't make it slippery. And the rubber surface. And you have the um, the recovery points here on the Bronco, which is definitely definitely nice, folks. Look how thick I, look how thick they are. Unlike the hooks on the Jeep, this when you pull that up and pull that on there, it's definitely going to stay on there. It's not going to come off. Again, you have the um, this look like the windows control for the back seat, and then you have the um, the AC power uh, for your phone electronics and stuff back here as well. And one thing that's cool about it, everything in here is just tight. Um, you have the wipe surfaces where you can just wipe the surfaces. And if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about your electronics being shot because it's wet. Again, you got the great the seating room and the, the seating positions. Everything else is just nice and just open sky, folks, all day long. And you see the Bronco Sport right next to it. Definitely nice. And you see it has the, uh, you can wash the floors down. And, and clean it too as well. Which is a better, I think that's that's better than a carpet. You don't want the carpet. And here, you know, in case it gets muddy and everything. You have the engine start, you have the nice textured plastic right here, and then you have it right here. And this is the, actually the Bronco and Cena. This is the front headlamps and the LED lights, just like the Bronco. They did a really good job with the engine start stop button. You know, the GOAT modes, the four low, four H, two H, four automatic. Definitely, definitely nice. Left, right for the mirrors too as well. And I believe it also has a heated, the heated function is up there. But this also adjusts the mirrors, right, left and all that. Differentials and all that right up here, hazard lamps, all that. And you have the turn assist and everything else operates right up here. Then you have the place where you can put your cell phone. You have the little uh, rack that you can put your cell phone accessories on and your cameras instead of putting them on the windshield and, and making a big mess, you know. Bronco 360, all the, uh, the technology, the mapping, the system, everything is just nice. Ford Bronco engine is actually aspirated to a four-door trim, SUV crossover body style, um, miles per gallon and all that. It's not known yet. So again, this is a closer look. And 
uh, Bronco and Cena on the seats, and you got a nice texture too. This is actually like cloth seats, so that's what it appears to be. And again, and better look at the accessory rack, you also have the plug-ins where you can actually plug things up into it. You don't have to worry about having cables going over all down here in front of your navigation. You can just have it right up here and just plug them in. And then you can put something in there too and also plug in all the items right up in here. You can actually have one plug come out and actually has an extender with three of them hanging out like that. You can just plug them all in instead of um, having cable all down in your face. and Not in your face, but in front of your navigation and all that. It's always a mess, you know. I wish that cars, I wish that automobiles would have that. Particularly the luxury cars. I mean, all, of, all cars should have that. Place to put your camera and everything else. I mean, as, as technology grows and as and there's cameras everywhere, we just need cameras for proof. We're deep into this video by 21 minutes, so we're gonna just flick through these pictures, take a look at closer look at the um, at the drainage and all that too as well. Close look at the middle headrest. Close look at the mirrors. As you see, these are also fold away mirrors that break away here and it's a break the breakaway point here too as well if it needs to pop back for some reason again you have the place where you put your um this is where you put your glass and everything else here you you can even have the um whatever you want to you know you can put up the hard top and the side the glass and you have something that also fills in where the glass is I mean, you're carrying a lot of stuff you don't want glass to break or nothing like that Definitely nice, especially this off-road look. Everything about this is just nice. The tail lamps being like 3D LED lamps. And you have a place to store your doors too as well, as you can see. And you have this grab out for tailgating. If you need extra space, you wanna lay down and look at the sun and just chill and relax. This is a Automotive Reviews, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.